What's up YouTube, it's Herbo13. Today I'm finally going to show you guys how to update your HP touchpad to the newest nightly builds. Uh, this will be a very, very easy process. I try to make it as simple and as easy as I possibly could, and I'll show you guys that right now. So hopefully you guys have already installed the older version of the Cyanogen mod that was in my old video, uh, because this is just going to update straight from that. If you guys are here trying to figure out how to put it on your touchpad, go watch that video first and then update to this. Uh, it's a lot easier than me explaining it all again, so I'll have links in the description for the original video. Go check that one out first and then come back and watch this one. So I'm assuming that all you guys already have my version of the HP touchpads, uh, you know, Cyanogen mod for the uh, Android operating system on it already. Um, and now it's very easy to just update to it. So uh, originally I gave you guys this folder right here, which is the touchpad folder, and this had uh, all the all the stuff that you needed, and uh, the only things that were updating are this this folder right here and the G app. So these two files, uh, the two zip files right here, are the only ones that we were actually changing, uh, and it's really easy to do. So I'm going to switch over my other camera so you guys can see what exactly what I'm doing with my touchpad. Okay, now it may be hard to see, but what you need to do is go up to the very top up here. After you plug it into your computer, you need to plug it in first. Uh, boot into WebOS. So if you already if you already have the Android operating system, which I'm sure you all do, uh, hold in the top button and then boot into WebOS so you guys can actually get to the WebOS screen. Click on the top corner up there and then go into the USB drive mode. Click on that and you should see this USB symbol right here. And once you see that, you can go back to your computer and I'll show you guys what to do from here. Okay, once you get back here, you can see the HP touchpad thing. It's going to say whatever you named it. You're just going to click on open folder to view files. All right, and then you're going to get this right here. Now, if you guys watched my video before, which I hope you guys did, because this will make it a lot easier on, on everybody, um, it, you should have a CM install folder uh, from before. When you guys click on it, you won't see these two files in here. So I'm going to delete these. When you guys click on it, there won't be anything in here. It should be empty. Um, and now I am going to be giving you guys the two newest versions. Actually, I'm not going to be giving it to you. You guys can go to the website and download it. But uh, these are the two websites you need to go to. I'll have uh, this link in the description. This is for the G apps. You want to download this one right here. Uh, it's the 201-20429. It's for the uh, CyanogenMod 9.0.x. Uh, 9 and it's for the uh, Android Opera System 4. 0.3 through 4.0.4. .4. This is just an update to what I showed you guys before. Um, you can get this one up here. This is for um, Jelly Bean, but but don't like rush to that right away because it is it has a lot of bugs. It's really buggy. It's really laggy. Uh, not a lot of stuff works with it. So you guys can go test that out if you want. It's the same process, but I suggest you guys just stick with this one for now. Uh, so download this file right here. You'll get it in a zip just like this. So let me bring these two over here so you guys will get these two. Uh, it should be 2012-0429. Uh, that should be the number for it. Uh, currently right now it is uh, August 19th. So you know when you guys when this gets updated you guys can go change it if you want. The other thing you need is the um, the other uh, installation for the ice cream sandwich. So you can go to cyanogenmod.com, go to get cyanogen mod, click on the HP touchpad right down here, then click on nightly builds, click on that. And then you want to download the very top one up here. It's the 201-20816 nightly tenderloin.zip. As you guys can see over here, they just updated this a few days ago on uh, the 6th, or the 16th, I mean. Um, and they've been updating it like, a few, like every single day, the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th, uh, up until the uh, 19th. So they do update this a lot, so go check this out. It might be changed by the time I even post this video. So uh, you can download the latest nightly build and install it just like this and update it. So you want to download this. It'll also be a zip folder or zip file, and that's all you need. So here are the two right here. And then all you need to do is go into your CM install folder and drag and drop these two programs, these two files, I mean, uh, drag and drop them right into the CM install and let them uh, copy over. And then once you get that, uh, you can then, uh, I'll show you the next step after that. So let's uh, let this go over. All right, that is done. So now that you have both of these, the two newest versions, I got the uh, 201 and Just to make sure, this is the 201 This is the uh, most up-to-date version of the nightly build for uh, the CyanogenMod 9 for the ice cream sandwich. And this is the G apps. This will give you the Google Store, the Google App Store, whatever it's called now, um, and all the other stuff that comes with the Google stuff. So you need the G apps for that. And I suggest you guys, you know, grab that and put it into your CM install file as well. So now you can go ahead and eject your um, HP touchpad. So I'm going to eject that. 
and I'm going to switch over my other camera now and I will show you guys what to do uh, on the rest of your touchpad. Okay, and there you go, you guys can see that it just ejected. So now you can go ahead and reboot the touchpad. So I'm going to hold this in and reboot it. So I'm going to shut down and then I'm going to turn it back on. And then once you get into the um, the uh, boot screen, the uh, Mo boot screen, you know, you when you see Cyanogemod, boot Cyanogemod, all that kind of stuff, uh, you don't want to click on Cyanogemod just yet because you'll still be on the uh, older version of it. So this is completely shut down. I'm going to turn it back on now. All right, now that it's booted back up, you guys can see all the different options here. You want to go down to where it says boot clockwork mod. You want to you want to boot that. So it's like the center one. You guys, hopefully you guys can read it. I hope you can. This is my older camera, so you guys won't be able to see it as well. But uh, click the one that says boot clockwork mod. You want to click on that, and that should open it up just like this. All right, let's see sign Jamad right there. And then it should boot just like this. So now you should see all the options up here. You guys might not be able to um, uh, see all this either way, but it doesn't matter. Now what you want to do is go down to where it says install zip from SD card. It should say it right in the middle. You want to click on that. And then click on choose zip from SD card. So you can click on that as well. Then you're going to scroll down to where you found your uh, CM install folder. So mine's right down there, CM install. I'm going to click on that. And you should see the G apps and the CM9, the, the two zip folders that you put into the uh, CM install folder. This is where you can guys put every single new nightly mod and the new nightly um, uh, builds into this folder, the CM install. All you have to do is boot into WebOS, uh, turn it on the USB, and then drag and drop the ones right into the CM install folder, and then boot into the Clockwork Recovery, and then you guys can change it whenever you want. So what you want to do is go to the G apps first and click on it, and then go all the way down to Yes. And what this will do is this will install the newest version of the G apps onto your touchpad. This also will not erase any of your stuff from your older version, so you don't have to worry about that. It will just replace the old operating system with the updated one. So this should, uh, you know, fix some Wi-Fi issues, fix some other uh, things. I don't know if this fixes the mic. I think it does fix the mic, actually. I don't know if it fixes the camera. I don't think it does. Uh, but either way, this is the more updated version of it. And you guys can check the websites every now and then. Uh, to see if there are new updates for that. So this just said install from SD card complete. So there you go, that's done that one. And then you want to choose the zip from SD card again. Go back down to CM install. Click on that. And then you want to install the CM9, the uh, nightly build one. So this is tenderwine.zip. I'm going to click on that. And then go down to yes. Click on that. And now this should install the newest version of the CyanogenMod onto your HP touchpad. Now hopefully, hopefully this will get it uh, all the way through. This might take a little while. You guys can see the little uh, bar down there. It does take a little bit to get it to go all the way up, so I'll probably skip past all this. Okay, as you guys can see right down there, it says install from SD card complete, and now you are done. Now all you have to do is click on go back, click on that, and then go back again. Actually, you can just do reboot system now. So I'm going to click on reboot system now. And then when it goes into the thing, I'm just going to stop it once again. So there it is. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to go to Boot Cyanogen Mod. And now this should have the new uh, logo. You know, it should be the guy uh, standing there instead of the old Android, you know, riding the skateboard. It should be a uh, Android, you know, person standing uh, in the way, just like that. That is the new Cyanogen Mod update uh, loading screen. And if you get this symbol right here, this means you did it right. You got it working uh, because this is the newest version of the Cyanogen Mod right up there. Uh, this isn't the Jelly Bean version because Jelly Bean does have a lot, of, I'm telling you, a lot of issues. Uh, when that actually gets to a full uh, working version, I will also do a video on that just as well. Uh, but this is the easiest way to update it. You know, you guys can check the nightly builds, you know, every every few days or so and see if they have a new one. And you guys can just download that and uh, install it just like, just like I showed you. Uh, you just have to put it into the CM install folder and then go back in. And then un, or, and then reinstall it over top of it, and it won't erase anything. You don't have to worry about that. It's just updating all the Android apps. It's 82 of them, so that will take a little while. Uh, but I hope you guys like this video. Please hit that like button down below. I know you guys have been waiting for this video for a long time, and I just got around to it, so I'm sorry. I did move to my new apartment, so I'm in here right now. It took me a while, but I am back making videos. So I hope you guys like this video. Once again, hit that like button. If this is the first time you guys have seen my videos, please hit that subscribe button as well. Um, I'll show you guys what this looks like after this is done booting up. All right, and there you go. This just logged into uh, the HP Touchpad. As you guys can see, all the stuff is still installed, all the little apps, all your settings will still be there. Uh, you don't have to worry about it, erasing anything. This literally just takes it 
It takes the operating system and places it right over top of the old one. This should update the Wi-Fi, some of the drivers. Uh, it should update some of the mic drivers and that kind of stuff. I'm still thinking that the uh, camera doesn't work, so if you guys are still worried about that, you know, I'm sorry, but it's not that big of a deal. It's just the camera on it. Um, games run fine. Everything works perfectly fine. You got the Play Store right there. And just one more thing really quick. I can show you guys that I am actually running it. Uh, let me go into the settings here. Uh, I'm going to find it. Settings. Then you go down to About Tablet. And right down here, you guys can see the CyanogenMod version. Right down there it says 2012086 Nightly Build. I don't think you guys can read that. Maybe you can. Let me hold it really close. All right there, 2012086 Nightly Build right there. You guys can see it. Uh, so this is the most updated version of the CyanogenMod. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.